Let's discuss club selection. This is an important part to becoming a good chipper. All right, you need to understand what clubs should we be using around the green. I teach a 10 year old girl who's the number one 10 year old in the world. And it's funny because her dad is always sending me these videos of her chipping in at tournaments. And every time she's using this technique, she's using the, the putt chip technique, which remember is when we get the club vertical, we have our hands and weight forward and the ball is back. But here I've got it some distance with it. If I need the ball to go shorter, I'm gonna take a sand wedge. And I'm just gonna set up here and I'm gonna move the ball back. I'm gonna putt up to down and the ball won't go very far because of the loft of the club. If I wanna, and let's simplify this, if I just take a nine iron now, same thing, same technique, same setup, move the ball back, hands and weight forward, putt up to down, you'll see that ball will go even further. Again, very simple. Now I'm gonna take a seven iron here. Again, I'm gonna do the same exact technique, get the heel of the club vertical, put the ball back in my stance, hands and weight forward, I can't say that enough, and I'm gonna chip or putt, and you'll see that the ball will go a lot farther. So really to understand what clubs should you use, it takes a little bit of practice, but in its simplest form, use a sand wedge anytime you are close to the green and the, the pin is close to you. Use a nine iron for a medium length distance and use a seven iron for a long distance. If you need to hit it harder, that's fine, but just make sure you are listening to the sound. You wanna make sure you are striking down on the ball. And if you're not striking down on it, we'll discuss that in a few videos here, but again, make sure your weight and hands are forward and you are well on your way to becoming a better chipper, enjoying this game a lot more and beating your girlfriends.